Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Bushcraft and Survival. Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Bushcraft and Survival. Uh, I wanted to show you a, a knot that I learned back when I was a kid. Uh, I never really thought much about it. Uh, I never used it for a long, long time until I saw it on the internet um, a couple years ago. Some guy claimed he invented the millipede knot. And this is a knot that I've been tying since I was a kid. My grandpa showed it to me ages and ages ago, probably, you know, 40 years ago, 38 years ago, something like that. And it's a fantastic quick release knot. And uh, we used to make, when I was a kid, we used to make keychains and things like that with it. And that's, that's, what I, that's what I do with it here now. And what it is is, let's say you had a, you're going to, Find the, find the center of your of your string, okay? And what's nice about it is to make a to make a bracelet or a keychain. Let's let's say a keychain about four inches long. You need about six feet of paracord, and it'll make a real nice real nice key keychain for you. That you always have six feet or ten feet of rope with you, depending on how long of a of a braid you make, and why would you want a piece of rope with you? Well, uh, my thinking on it is, let's say, let's say uh, we had our keychain with us in our car, or whatever, and we came up on an accident, and someone had cut their their femoral artery in their leg or something like that, and they were holding it, and blood was spurting out through their hands, and you had nothing out, nothing, nothing to to stop the blood on to keep from dying because you only have you know what five minutes or something like that if even that and so you take out your keychain pull your cord off now you got eight or ten feet of cord you could wrap that cord around their leg grab a stick out of the weeds or something like that hopefully you could find something like that and tie a tourniquet on their leg and maybe you could save someone's life um, better yet would be what if someone in your family like your daughter or somebody somehow got hurt in an accident and was bleeding to death and yet you're just gonna you're not just gonna sit there and watch them bleed to death are you i hope not that way at least you have a chance to do something about it okay for this n n i'm calling it a knot not a braid so you're going to start with the center of your rope now if i had a key, if i had a key i have my key chains each one of my keys has its own key chain like my car just has a car key on i don't have any other keys on it if you want to put a ring on there you still do the same thing. You have a loop up here rather than mine. Just goes right through the key itself. So let's say you're going to make a a chain, a key chain for a uh, for a key. You're going to go down about, put your key through here, and then go down here about four inches or so, and fold both sides of the rope back. I like to keep them flat in my hand like this to get started okay so you have your two center ropes and your outside ropes now what you're going to do is you're going to take you're going to kind of take your your you got your right long rope and your your left long or long rope the first knot's always the hardest but once you get it going this is the simplest knot in the world to tie okay make sure your ends here are the same length so you're going to take this one here and you're going to go underneath all of the ropes I'm trying to get it so I can show it to you here you're gonna go underneath all the all the ropes like that and then come back through this loop that you made here just like that okay and then snug her up tight and here's here's where your here's where your key would go okay so you went underneath This one here, to the left side, you're going to make a loop, and you're going to go underneath all the all the ropes again, and you're just going to come back through the hole. All this knot is is a bunch of half hitches, basically, and you're just going to snug that up, and then snug both sides up nice. Kind of looks like a scarecrow or something almost. Okay, now here's the whole trick of the whole knot. Make sure your 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 ends here are even. Cause that'll help a lot at the end. All right. Now, you see how 
you got your loop here and your loop here. See how your, your ropes are pointing down? Pointing down? This time, if they're pointing down, now you go across the top of all the ropes and come back up through your, your loop you just made. Okay? Just like that. You want to snug it up good. It's much easier with paracord. You're pointing down, so you're going to go across the top, underneath, and back through. Like that. Make sure you pull, snug them all up real good. Okay, now you see your ropes are pointing up. So every other time you're going to alternate. They're going up, now you're going to go make your loop and go underneath all of them, just like that. And back to your loop. Just like that. Pointing up, so you're going to go under. And if you make a mistake, one goes under or over, you'll see it right away because one will be up, one will be down. So now, now I'm, going, I'm going down. Both of these are going down. So now I'm going to go over the top again. So it's going to go over the top and through that loop and just snug her up. I've never made it with this big a rope before, but it's working fine. So we're going down, we're going to go over the top. If I did it with paracord, the videos I've seen, it's so hard to see what they're doing. I, the only reason I, when I saw the video, I was like, well, I remember that knot. And uh, it just came right back to me a second. Okay, now we're, we're pointing up, so we're going to go under. Going up, we're going to go under. So you guys get the idea of that? And I'll show you how to finish it off here. And I'll show you a couple of things that you're going to need to know. I keep bumping the camera because I've got, I'm working over the top of the camera here so you can see it in the view that you'd be tying it yourself. Okay, try one more time here. We're going down, so we're going to go over the top. Going down, we'll go over the top. Okay, now, here's, here's, here's a couple tips for you. This is fine right here. Now, to finish this, to finish this, I'm going to run this string through here, and I run this string through here so they cross underneath. Okay, just like that, and then I'm going to pull on the key or the hole that way, and that'll suck these down, and that'll hold them tight, and they'll, it'll never slip in a million years. Okay, now when I tie mine, I like to have this loop here is small as possible so when I'm tying this part right here I have to judge how big a loop to make so that the last one comes through so they're just barely even the tiny loop here that way then when I pull it tight this loop here only gets just a little bigger if I don't know if you can understand that or not but let me show you here now so I got I got one through the both both loops I want to get up nice and tight other one through both loops nice and tight and then there's a couple other things too. Now, the tighter you pull these knots, the harder it is going to be to deploy. But the tighter it is, the cool, the nicer it looks. So I'm going to hold both these side pieces here that just that just went underneath here, snug, and then I'm going to pull the the loop on the end here so these tighten up. And you can pull one side at a time if you want, like that. See to make it nice and even. Okay. Now normally you wouldn't want this great big loop here. That's why you'd want this, these bottom loops up closer to here. So you just have to judge it a little different on, on and sometimes I'll, I'll tie it. I don't like the way it is. I'll just deploy it. I'll retie it until I get the loops just the right length. Okay. Now let's say, let's say this is your keychain. Another thing you can do too, this is another good example. On my, on my bug out bag, I have 50 foot of paracord on a um, clip clip to my bag, tied just like this, so I can just take it off, grab hold of the, 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 the clip, and pull 50 feet out instantly. Okay, now, so let's say, let's say this is your key ring. Let's say you just have a little loop like that, and that your key is on here, or the, the ring for your key is on here. So you put your finger through the, the rings, if you wanted to. To deploy it, what you're going to do is you got to take these two pieces out. Okay, so you're going to pull 
hole on this just a little bit either way so you can get a hold of it and then you're just gonna you want to pull that pull that out like that and pull this side out like this this is gonna take you two or three seconds then you're gonna hold on to this part and you're gonna pull on your keys and you can see right here and how good you can see it it's just gonna it just deploys out instantly not a knot nothing on it where you can de you can deploy the bracelet in less than less than five seconds as a rule so in five seconds you'd have a piece of of, of cordage to use in an emergency if you had to that's the main thing I carry it for is just in case there was some sort of an emergency um, but watch watch the video over a few times slowly the hardest part is that first knot to get it started and then it's just back and forth if you if your ropes are pointing down you go over the top if they're pointing up you go underneath you just go back and forth on it um, you can actually go across the top all the way and it'll give the it'll give the cord a little little twist to it but I, I don't recommend that um, I'll confuse everybody so that's all there is to the what people are calling the millipede knot but I don't, I don't call it that I call it the Bohol quick release knot and it makes the best key fobs bracelets uh, you name it I can show you how to hook hook it up so it goes on to a, a clip a clip bracelet or a knot bracelet like the you saw that movie Mad Max with the knot through the loop type bracelet this this works absolutely perfect for that um, just something different for you to have I, I have a whole bunch of bracelets in the house I don't really wear them very often because when I do go out I always have plenty plenty of paracord with me I always have a, a couple hanks hanging off each one of my bags or my belt or something so uh, I don't really worry about it but they do look kind of nice I don't I never wear a watch so every once in a while I'll put on a, a paracord bracelet or something like that so I guess that's all I have for now um, tie some knots try try this knot try some of the other knots um, please click like and subscribe you can contact me anytime at blindowloutdoors at gmail.com that's also the email for our other channel blind owl outdoors where there is tons and tons and not videos like this and all the other knots that I know in the playlist and many bushcraft and outdoor videos cooking videos water filter videos some basic camp videos uh, primitive traps all kinds of stuff in the playlist and over 5,000 videos on our life in the Philippines so with that I guess uh, just have a great day I'm looking at myself upside down have a great day get outside tie some knots have a fire have a picnic go camping go fishing do anything just get outside go for a walk even and by all means be safe have a great day I know I am <laughs>